This video is brought to you by The CW's Naomi. Catch the new series Tuesdays at 9, 8 central, only on The CW, or stream free next day on The CW app. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Superman TV shows. Stopping trains is my specialty. For this list, we're looking at the best TV series centered around the Superman franchise. Which of the heroes' small screen shows took your enjoyment to new heights? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Superboy. Pull over. Pull over, Lex. With Superman's 1978 big screen success waning in the late 80s, the film's producers, Ilya and Alexander Salkin, tried their hand at bringing the Man of Steel to the small screen. Only this time, it was more so the Boy of Steel. You're quick, Lex. Out of my way, Superboy. Permission granted. Revolving around Clark Kent's younger years, the syndicated program featured many familiar characters from the comics, including the farm boy's first crush, Lana Lang. Easy now. Wherever you are, wherever you came from, thank you. And unlike a later Teen Superman program, this one had no issues showing our hero in full costume and taking flight. Unfortunately, the show was hampered by low production values and notorious creative changes, not to mention a switch in the actor playing the titular hero after the very first season. <laughs> Number 9. Superman Let me guess, this is a job for Superman, right? He's so predictable. With the exception of Max Fleischer's stellar cinematic shorts, Superman's early animated outings left a lot to be desired. That all started to change, however, when Ruby Spears Enterprises produced a Saturday morning cartoon to coincide with the character's milestone 50-year anniversary. Fights the never-ending battle for truth, justice, and the American way. In addition to upgrades in the visual design, the short-lived series also provided poignant flashbacks to Clark's time growing up in Smallville. Martha and I always wanted a little boy. This would also mark the first Superman cartoon to follow the events of DC Comics' post-Crisis on Infinite Earths reboot. All in all, it was a step in the right direction, one that would give the Man of Tomorrow an on-screen boost towards the fruitful 90s. Number 8. Supergirl <laughs> When CBS went all in with a show centered on Superman lore, its Kryptonian star wasn't the Man of Steel, but rather his cousin, Kara. Thanks to a delightful core cast, including Melissa Benoist in a wonderful personification of the Girl of Steel, Supergirl delivered the requisite emotional connection to the character fans had grown to love in the comics. And when the series eventually jumped to the CW to join their existing superhero lineup, it brought with it some super cameos, including a certain big red and blue Boy Scout. We've never saved anything together. I know. I've dreamt to this moment. Number 7. Krypton This is the story of the House of L. Our ending has yet to be written, but this is how we began. When the Sci-Fi Network announced that they were going to debut a show that explored the early days of Superman's mythology, they weren't kidding. Set 200 years in the past, Krypton followed Superman's grandfather, Seg L, as he not only fought to save his home planet from complete destruction, but uphold his family's honor in the process. I come from a planet called Earth, a time centuries from now, and I've come here to warn you. Someone from the future is coming to destroy Krypton. The program featured impressive production values, not to mention plenty of intrigue for fans looking to discover more of Superman's historic lineage. <laughs> How about that for a flag and twist? Alas, not even well-known baddies like Lobo and Doomsday were enough to keep this genre gem on the air, as Krypton met its demise after just two seasons. Come on! Number 6. Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman Excuse me. An absolute
absolute 90s favorite. Lois and Clark The New Adventures of Superman is fondly remembered for its romantic elements. Not so much for the superhero stuff. You know, I thought for a while there that I might never see you again. With an abundance of chemistry between them, the series served as major star vehicles for leads Dean Cain and Terry Hatcher, the latter being especially praised for her natural comedic abilities. Six words. First word. Hmm. Pointing it. Then. Point me. Guns. <laughs> Unfortunately, the program soured fans when the infamous wedding episode, made to coincide with the pair's comic book nuptials, saw Clark unwittingly marry a frog-eating clone of Lois. Lois and Clark, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Luckily, the series had other more magical moments, ones that made us fall in love with the characters in new and unexpected ways. And for that, we thank them. Number 5. Superman and Lois with the last Son of Krypton's frequent appearances in the Arrowverse proving popular among fans, the CW decided to give Soups a show of his own, with a twist. Don't try to talk to me, all right? You may have been sent here to be some hero, but you sure as hell weren't sent here to be a father. Instead of going with the familiar will-they-or-won't-they approach between Lois and Clark, the story picks up with the two blissfully married and raising a pair of teenage sons, one of whom begins exhibiting powers akin to his super dad. It's hard enough on him having a brother that everything comes easy to, but having one that has powers, like Superman? We don't know what he can or can't do yet. When sudden events take the family back to Clark's old stomping grounds in Smallville, they decide to stick around and start anew. The mix of endearing family drama and exciting action has thus far been quite a hit with critics and viewers alike. In short, this show packs a punch. Number 4. Adventures of Superman Look, up in the sky, it's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! For many who grew up in the 1950s, there is only one true Superman. My name is Kent. I'm a newspaper reporter. I'd like some questions answered. Balancing a sincere portrayal of Clark Kent with a stoically confident Man of Steel, George Reeves became an instant favorite with fans of all ages even though the actor himself was a little less enamored with the role at times. And while the special effects of the era were definitely a little subpar, the wondrous adventure, cast chemistry, and good old-fashioned wholesome fun more than made up for it. To this day, Adventures of Superman stands as a true celebration of the righteous hero we all know and love. Lieutenant, I need your help. You... You need my help. Yes, there's something wrong on Moose Island. Definitely Coast Guard business. Number 3. Smallville Clark? Oh, Immensely popular upon its release, Smallville ushered Superman into the new millennium in a big way. If you can catch me, I'll think about it. Following Clark Kent during his formative years, the show adopted the Monster of the Week formula to initial success. What made the sci-fi melodrama really soar, however, was our young hero's constant battle between attempting to live a normal life and embracing the role of a super savior. The producers also invoked a no tights, no flights rule early on, essentially reducing the character to just the basics. Lucky for us, actor Tom Welling was up for the task. Hey, Clark. You ever wonder what would happen to all these humans if you weren't here to play savior? Paired with an equally game cast of new and familiar faces, Welling Superman would go on to define a generation through ten thrilling seasons. Is it really that hard to believe? Well, I can't be the only one. There must be others like me. Number 2. Superman The Animated Series He's strong, he flies, he's the Nietzschean fantasy ideal all wrapped up in a red cape. The Superman. Superman. Hey, I like it! With Batman the Animated Series being a game-changer in the world of animation, it wasn't long before the team behind the award-winning series set their sights on DC's other flagship star. Thanks to Bruce Timm and Alan Burnett's inspiring approach, the response to Superman's return to the small screen was an overwhelmingly enthusiastic one. Borrowing heavily from John Byrne's comic book interpretations of the character, our hero took on a decidedly more human edge, increasing his relatability in the process. Are you okay? A little extra crispy. 
but otherwise fine. While the series had no shortage of epic action, it still managed to adapt some of Superman's more nuanced stories, and was praised for its merge of both the older classic Superman and the newer, more modern version of the character. World's finest indeed. You can't outfly me! Watch me. Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Justice League Action, an animated series following the supervillain fighting members of the JLA. Luthor, how can he be this fast? He can't, unless he's connected to the Speed Force. The New Adventures of Superman, a super popular Saturday morning cartoon. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. Super Friends, Hanna-Barbera's take on the JLA for ABC's Saturday morning cartoon lineup. In the great hall of the Justice League, there are assembled the world's four greatest heroes, created from the cosmic legends of the universe, Superman. Legion of Superheroes, Superman and the titular team in the 31st century. Let me give you a hand. Watch it! I've got enough on my mind without having to worry about you bystanders. Bystanders? Number one, Justice League Unlimited. A major part of Superman's legacy is, of course, his allegiance with other super friends. You know, the Justice League. And so, when Cartoon Network wisely continued Batman and Superman's adventures with an animated team-up series featuring DC's holy grail of heroes, fans were thrilled. But it wasn't until the show took on its successor with a deeper roster that things really took off, especially for Superman. Superman is Superman, and I will kill you. Why? It's what I am. I don't care why. It's here that Earth's greatest hero found himself in darker, more complex storylines, including one heck of a final clash with Darkseid. I want you to see your adopted homeworld bow down before me. Only then will I allow you death's sweet release. Yup. For a true distillation of what makes Superman the icon that he is, look no further than the final episodes of Justice League Unlimited. This video is brought to you by The CW's Naomi. Catch the new series Tuesdays at 9, 8 central, only on The CW, or stream free next day on The CW app.